The Eagles had their preseason opener on Thursday night, and one of the players not in action was quarterback Carson Wentz, who has yet to be cleared for full contact. Back in his rookie season of 2016, Wentz played a grand total of 39 snaps in the preseason before suffering a rib injury that kept him out until the season opener. It is likely that Wentz could see his first action in the regular season without playing at all in the exhibition slate. We kick off this edition of Inside Training Camp presented by Independence Blue Cross with quarterbacks coach Press Taylor offering the latest on number 11's comeback. He does a great job of mentally staying involved in everything. In practice, he's right there. He's communicating with receivers, communicating with myself, Coach Groh, Coach Peterson. Uh, in film, he, he, you know, he, he chimes in quite a bit. He's got a lot of opinions and lets, lets those be known and a lot of ideas. So I think he's mentally he's locked in. And it's exciting to see, and it's just going to continue going forward. That's, that's really helping him get invo stay involved. And then the communication aspect um, in the film room and in practice has been great with him. He's done a great job. You know, obviously he's ultra competitive guy. You guys know that just from talking to him and the way he plays. He wants to take every single rep. Uh, and you know, right now we're we're kind of focused on just protecting him, taking care of him. Uh, and he understands what's going on. It, it really, we've had a conversation. Just he continues to get seven on seven moving forward. And for him, it's it's a great process of just having the tough mental toughness and the discipline to treat seven on seven every single rep as the most important rep of the day and he's really dialed in there he's done a great job of keeping his rhythm his timing going through progressions throwing the ball with accuracy and he's approached that it's been really fun to see him approach the few reps he's gotten in that each day Wentz was the eagles first selection three drafts ago this year's top pick tight end dallas goddard thrived in his preseason debut against the Steelers, catching four passes for 66 yards and a touchdown. He also contributed as a blocker. Tight ends coach Justin Peel was impressed, but certainly far from satisfied with the results. Oh, I think the, the biggest thing was just getting him out there and you know putting him on an NFL field. Uh, the ball obviously came his way a few times and he was able to make some plays, but I was just I, was, I, just, I just wanted to get him out there on an, uh, on the field and you know playing some ball. You know he's got really good hands. He's got a, a nice way of shielding defenders. Um, you know high point in the ball and you know like I said he he can make some catches. His hand eye coordination is really good. You know from what I saw I, I kind of figured out what it was. It was just what, would would he be able to transition from college the NFL and you know after spending some time with them uh, talking to him you know his attitude uh, I felt we we felt very comfortable about that Sidney Jones played in one regular season game as a rookie which was remarkable considering he incurred an Achilles injury just before the draft he worked diligently all offseason and was a starter at the nickel cornerback spot Thursday night will he be there when the regular season begins defensive backs coach Corey Unlin explains Physical, you saw that last night. That was probably the first thing that I was like, all right, good. I mean, to see him go in there and throw his body around there. He missed a couple tags. missed the first opportunity he had to get that guy on the ground. He kind of went in there. But I love the the uh, the tempo and the effort that he went in there with. We'll clean up that tackling stuff. Obviously, the more reps you get at that, it'll help him. Um, smart. Obviously, you know, he's not a rookie because he obviously was here all last year. Um, but you've got to be able to process, and you've got to process fast in there, and I think he's more than capable of doing that. So I think he's a great, he's a great option for us. And again, I'm not, I'm not putting him in there yet. We still got right. three games to go. We got a lot of practice to go, not just the games, but practice. Um, and we'll see how that shakes out by the time we end up with the preseason. The Eagles' final public practice is scheduled for Saturday at Lincoln Financial Field. Head coach Doug Pearson will address the media and will bring it to you live. Until then, I'm Chris McPherson, and thank you for joining us here on this Friday edition of Inside Training Camp presented by Independence Blue Cross. Have a great Eagles night, everyone.